pizza. It's one of the most popular foods in the world, and why not? It's delicious, it's healthy, it can be both fun and classy, and you can put just about anything you want on it. So for kicks, I'm going to show you a cooler version of Cooking with Steve about how to make deep dish pizza. One of the nice things about making pizza is that there are ways around the more time-consuming steps, like making your own sauce and crust. Now the thing about this recipe is that you will need fresh dough to make it. Those pre-baked crusts that you see in stores may work with other pizzas, but not this one, because the dough needs to form in a cake pan. But if you don't have a mixer or the time to make it yourself, don't worry, you can usually buy fresh dough at the grocery store too. Let's get it on! Dice up and then saute a few handfuls of raw meat and or veggies. In this case I just used green peppers and cremony mushrooms. The reason to brown the meat may be self-explanatory, but the reason you want to do this to the veggies as well is because you want to get rid of any moisture they're holding, otherwise the crust will sag. If you saute everything over at medium heat, this should take just a few minutes. Then use a bit of vegetable oil to lightly grease two cake pans. Make sure you remember to dab that seam between the bottom and the wall. Now before we get to the dough, note that you will need lots of flour, on the counter and in your hands. If you've ever done rock climbing, it's the same idea as chalking your hands, you just want to keep the dough from sticking to your fingers. Anyway, once you're all floured up, take your dough and split it roughly in half. I know that it looks like you've got a lot, but that's okay. Take each half and gently rotate and knead it over your fingers. You need to spread the dough a little bit, but not too much or it will tear. Then put the dough in a pan and push it around until it's all over the bottom, touching the sides. If you've ever played with putty when you were a kid, then you know the drill. Next, take two or three spoonfuls of your sauce, whether it's pre-made or just some regular pasta sauce, and spread it on the bottom of your crust. Please note that while I'm using tomato sauce in this video, you can use just about any sauce you like. You just want a thin coating, and remember to leave some space bare at the edge. Then top it with a handful of shredded cheese, just covering the sauce. Then you put the main toppings on, and you add another layer of cheese. If you like pepperoni, then you should add it right about here, and then sprinkle with a little bit more cheese, like a pinch or two. Then add a couple of small dabs of extra sauce, and you're ready to go. With your rack in the middle of the oven, heat to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for about 24 minutes, or until the cheese bubbles and the bread is brown, whichever comes first. When it's all done, put the pies on a rack for a few minutes to cool, and slice each one into wedges, and enjoy. This is very filling, and if you like to have lots of toppings on your pizza, then you can't go wrong with deep dish. That's it for me.